Hello, guys. I've got to listen to her, Jesus. Hi. 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 <laughs> Come on, people, this is supposed to be creepy. Hello my lovelies and happy Halloween. Today as it's the last video in my Halloween series, I wanted to bring you guys something super exciting. So today we are going to be visiting the famous Highgate Cemetery, home to approximately 170,000 and one of London's longest standing graveyards. And now for a history lesson. Highgate Cemetery was originally designed by architect Stephen Geary in 1839. In early decades, burial space was a massive issue in London. With an influx in population came an influx of the deceased, and they were seriously running out of room. In 1836, an Act of Parliament was passed which created the London Cemetery Company. This act manifested to build what is now known as the Magnificent Seven, a series of cemeteries surrounding the outskirts of London. Highgate being the third in this list after Kensal Rise and West Norwood. The original site, which is now known as the West Cemetery, was an immensely fashionable place for people of the Victorian era to be buried, with only the wealthiest of families being able to purchase a plot of land for their loved ones. The West Side alone covers a massive 17 acres of land. 15 of those were consecrated to the Church of England, and the other two set aside for dissenters, which was pretty much anything else. In 1854, they were able to extend the cemetery by another 20 acres the East Cemetery, where today you'll find the graves of many influential people, including Karl Marx and Douglas Adams. And if I die, can you put Cthulhu on my grave? Cthulhu, yes. sure. <laughs> Dark Lord of all. <laughs> Dark Lord <laughs> Thank you. I'm getting my David Attenborough on. And here we see the stupid female. <laughs> <laughs> we are here in the East Cemetery, which is kind of creepy, but it's okay. It's nice. Are you scared, Mum? No, I'm... Right. It's a bit too pretty to be like scary, right? I don't think I'd want to be here at night. No. <laughs> I think then really I'd be nice. petrified. So this one's kind of like more open to the public. They've got more like recent people buried here. But the West Cemetery, which is on the other side, is like where all the famous people are, where all the tombs are and stuff like that. So we'll be visiting that one later. But for now, we're just taking a stroll through the gravestones. It's weird though guys, because we're literally surrounded by dead people. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty scared of death and being dead. I mean, I'm sure I won't notice, but you know, it's still kind of creepy. Like it's, mm, even though it's legitimately beautiful sunshine, it's very pretty, but it's still kind of creepy. I don't know what I'm walking on. It makes me very, very nervous. Mm. Now on to the creepy stuff. There's always been a lot of speculation regarding the supernatural surrounding Highgate Cemetery. With the amount of people buried there, I'm not surprised a few spirits came and said hello. The most famous by far being the possible connection to Bram Stoker's Dracula, which is partly set in the neighbouring park of Hampstead Heath. Right next to my house, I might add. Not scared. I swear. It's greatly believed that the mausoleum for Lucy Westenra was influenced by one in Highgate Cemetery, and Stoker frequented the cemetery for inspiration. But for all my digging, I could find no proof. Just managing to creep myself out more as I found another location in the book, The Spaniards Inn, happens to be my dad and I's local pub. Interestingly enough though, Dracula AD featuring Christopher Lee was in fact filmed in Highgate Cemetery. My favourite story by far is that of the Highgate Vampire from the early 1970s. It started in 1963 when a couple were walking down Swains Lane, the road along the north side of the cemetery, and saw a tall dark figure with red eyes floating behind the cemetery's railings. Another man said he saw a figure floating over the wall like black 
treacle. He spotted a Dementor. He, he spotted a Dementor, 100%. In 1969, occultist David Farrer decided to camp in the graveyard to investigate for himself, only to come across an apparition of a dark figure with red eyes, matching the previous descriptions of the Highgate vampire. He elicited the help of vampire hunter Sean Manchester, who constructed a massive hunt in the cemetery ground. However, no vampires were found, only claims from the crowd seeing a tall, dark figure. Looks like the Highgate vampire avoided being hunted. In 2016, rumours sparked again, as witnesses claimed to see a floating man in Victorian clothes gliding through locked gates. It's said the supposed vampire was a medieval nobleman from Romania who had a specific interest in black magic. He was brought to England in the 18th century, where he was awoken by Satanists at his resting place in Highgate Cemetery. behind me. <laughs> Dude, guys, it's so creepy, isn't it? This is not cool. Not cool. <laughs> not cool. <laughs> it's like freezing as well. <laughs> We're in the dark with dead people. Come on. <laughs> So guys, we're currently in the West Cemetery. We've just come out of the catacombs, which were terrifying to say the least. It's very cold here, even with the sun. And there's just a few hundred dead people. Nothing to worry about. Hey? A few thousand dead people. Nothing to worry about, you guys. I was okay until we went into the tombs because the tombs were pretty, pretty scary. They just had like coffins, like real coffins with dead people in it. She just said sleeping angel, guys. <laughs> All these terrified of the sleeping angels. It's close enough. <laughs> Thank you. 
But that is it for today's video, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this Halloween special on my channel. I happen to live in one of the most interesting and haunted locations in London. So if you guys would like to see more of this content, please do let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, my lovelies, and happy Halloween.